Okay, a quick interlude. In an earlier talk, I introduced topics plus M. Uh, when planning a systematic review and defining a topic, you need to make predictions about moderators. That's going to be M and topics plus M. Uh, why? Because meta-analyses almost always show heterogeneous outcomes, so it becomes very important for you as a meta-analyst, a systematic reviewer, to understand why study results are varying so much. Current standards that are out there define systematic review topics. They tacitly overlook moderators. So, for example, they're very popular with PICO, PICOT, PICOTS. If we're going to add M to that, that's a very awkward acronym, so we played around with it, and my daughter came up with the winning combination, which is topics plus M. So you've got time, outcome, population, intervention, comparison, study design, and moderators. Every meta-analysis must define its topic. Now you've got an acronym that actually makes sense to say. PICO, PICOT, PICOTS doesn't have anything to do with systematic reviews. Uh, I'll give credit to a lot to people for thinking about these issues of defining the topic of a, a literature review, but it's come time to go ahead and use an acronym that makes sense for what we're doing. Define your topic. Quick, quick, quick addition. Um, the plus M moderators, of course, moderators could concern any number of these things that you've already got in this picture. So it's just drawing an additional attention, uh, emphasis on Think about does time matter for your effect sizes. Try to make a priori predictions about it. Try to do this all in advance, register it, etc. Okay, that's enough for now.